Hey guys, this is Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist, a diabetologist, and a diabetes educator. Now, today I'm going to talk to you about an important topic, carbohydrates. You know, you're like, uh, well, you've been talking about this forever, but today I'm going to tell you something different. Now, how can you really eat carbs, control your diabetes, and lose weight? We can do that. You want to know why or how? Listen up. Let's get started. Okay, guys, so today I am talking about eating carbs, losing weight, and controlling diabetes. Now, this may not be for everyone, but I think uh, a lot of you will benefit. And always run this with your endocrinologist or diabetes specialist to make sure that what you're doing is going to work for you. If you're on medications for diabetes, certain medications may not work well uh, with what I'm going to say. So uh, make sure if you're on insulin, if you're on sulfonylurea agents, you may want to be very careful. Now, what you can do here as a diabetic and if it is appropriate for you, like everybody's saying that, you know, you should not be eating any carbs to control your diabetes, reverse your diabetes. If you go on an Atkins diet or keto diet, you can reverse your diabetes forever, da 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 And then it is like uh, super hard to find those people. I know where they are. They are writing comments on YouTube and stuff, but in reality, I don't see those patients in my clinic. Really, they're not there. You know, it's just uh, very hard to do because it's a human nature. You know, we crave carbs and we have carbs everywhere and they have a lot of nutrients in them. Now, when I say carbs, I'm not talking about you know, the junks, of course, you know, nobody tells you to go to the grocery store right now and uh, grab all the candies and uh, candy bars and all that stuff. No, we don't want that. We are talking about the healthy carbs that are not processed, the whole foods, right? So if you're eating whole foods, that is not going to hurt you uh, unless, unless you keep eating them. So here is the trick. What I want you to do, think about intermittent fasting. So if you are fasting for a period of time, your body goes into ketosis, right? So you don't have to be eating red meat or butter cookies or whatever. Uh, I mean, cookies are not going to work for the keto, but the, they make keto cookies nowadays. So they make all sorts of craziness. But if you try to do that, you know, if you don't have to be on that diet for days. Your body will go into ketosis right around 8 to 10 hours after you start your fasting uh, in that fasting state you will be able to repair the damage improve the insulin resistance and after that you can have a nice meal that is mixed with healthy carbs healthy protein and healthy fat i'm not saying don't eat fat you can eat fat it's only gonna be one meal and that's it you're not going to snack you're not going to keep going to that uh, pantry you're not gonna keep opening the fridge don't hang around in the kitchen stay away from that area you are going to have one meal, it's going to be a feast, and you will have whatever you want. Now, what else? Yes, I want you to be able to have whatever you want, as long as they're whole foods, and as long as they are natural, as long as they come from the earth, right? It's not man-made, it's not in a package. You can have what you want. After a long period of fasting, actually, your stomach will shrink, and you're not going to be able to eat too much. You want to hear another trick? have some water before you actually engage in eating the whole plate all right have some water and actually what i would recommend let's say have a soup a, a bowl of soup that that you like if you're a soup person if you're not just have a small salad or something like that and then go do something else take a break if you're religious go do some prayer if you're not religious go do some workout whatever do something else that is not going to be too long, right around like 15, 20 minutes. Guess what? You're going to come back to that table and you're going to realize that you don't want it anymore. Isn't that amazing? So all you did, like you fasted 16 hours and now it's time to eat dinner. And you're like, oh my God, I'm going to eat this. I'm going to eat that. You're making plans all day. You know, so this is what happens, right? So I'm a, I'm a Muslim and we have this Ramadan thing and the whole month. It's like a Thanksgiving every day, you know, it's a freaking huge table, you know, all sorts of food and desserts and it's a party every day. And then, you know, people go to prayer, which which is, it takes forever, which uh, kind of helps you burn the calories. But still, I don't lose weight at Ramadan, you know, why? Because I'm guilty as, as charged 
I end up eating some sweets because I crave for it. But when I don't, I lose weight. And a lot of people are like that. So as long as you don't eat like these desserts or calorie dense foods, carbs are okay. You will still lose weight. And if you use that technique that I'm giving you, where you have a small, very small, like a like an appetizer, and leave the table, come back, you are not going to want to eat that anymore. And then another trick that I don't want you to stay too late because if you stay too late, you're gonna end up getting hungry. What I want you to do after that fasting period, have that food, and if you wanna come back after the appetizer, that's okay, you know, I'm not saying it's a trick, but it'll make you eat less, right? So do that, if you wanna come back, do that, but do not stay more than three hours after eating. After by three hours, you should be able to go to bed. Since you didn't eat too much, hopefully, you know, you are going to have a wonderful sleep, you're going to wake up refreshed, and you may be hungry in the morning. And what's the trick to that? Well, have a cup of coffee. Coffee actually, uh, it causes a little insulin resistance, it raises your blood sugar a little bit, which helps to prevent the excessive appetite coming in. Now, you may still be hungry, but if you can get over that, uh, you can go another 16 hours very easily. Now, I'm not saying that do that every day, because doing that every day may not work as good as doing it every other day, for example, because your body is wonderful when it comes to adaptation. You can adapt to super little 500 calorie kind of diet and survive with that, you know, and you can adapt to 5,000 calories and at some point you will stop gaining weight because you can only gain so much weight or you're, you're not going to gain as much weight with that 5,000 calories and so forth. So your body knows how to adjust. But in, a, in the obesity case, of course, by the time your body adjusts, you, you may be 300 pounds. That's a different story. But the bottom line is you need to do that every other day for it to be more effective. So if those people are telling you, don't eat this, don't eat that, you can never eat that ever again, oh, just forget forget them. Uh, life is not like that. You're in this life. You're, you're here to enjoy your life. Uh, even if you have diabetes, you will still enjoy your life. It's not a life sentence. But I think you should still be able to discipline yourself, learn to fast. And what's interesting, fasting has been shown and proven to prolong life, to have a healthy life, to reduce the cancer risk, to reverse the diabetes and insulin resistance, all these benefits. But we have to learn to be able to get over our hunger. Unfortunately, snacking is extremely common in America. I'm sure in Europe too. But the bottom line is you have to learn to fast and that will help you achieve your goals with weight loss while still eating carbs. So guys, that's okay. Comment, ask questions, be nice. Uh, because we are a nice community, we try to support each other, we are not here to fight, we are not doing any ideology fights here. I am a physician trying to help as much as I can, and I hope you like this video. If you do, please give a thumbs up, share this video, and have a wonderful day.